No, there's no rest day for me. None whatsoever. For Matthew Zhang, the weekends are his busiest days of the week, and he gets an average of four to five hours of sleep. Especially Saturday, even though I don't work full amount, I work on like at night. I still have like the Thai lessons, some readings I do from uni, as as well as say karate, and just trying to get to the city overall. It was like pretty hard. And then Sunday is fully packed with just work. When he gets home depends on if he's closing up that night at work or not. He recalls the latest night past midnight and the longest shift to be over 15 hours. Around one, so I finish. So we close around one, and from then on, I go to, get on the train around 1:20. Yeah, and then I get home around two something. However, being at home doesn't mean he can finally rest and get some sleep. He will need to catch up on things like assessments, and he will also need some alone time. There's no sleep. Uh, I I. Basically, I because I have not no time in the day to do anything myself. I basically watch some YouTube videos or like I do something or either go to the gym for an hour or half an hour. Being sleep deprived on the weekends, he often lacks energy and motivation during the day. Um, basically, I'd feel very tired, but also I, my awareness is the same as drunk when you know in the state of drunkness. So basically, my awareness is not as high as usual, and I'm just like looking at my goal forward, but not looking at my surroundings, and I don't have that awareness with my perpetual eye, and just basically, I could trip over maybe, or even、um, bump into another person if I don't watch them. As Matthew describes his situation as being drunken, according to a recent study done by the University of Oxford and the Royal Society for Public Health, they found that even without drinking, not sleeping for more than 17 hours could affect the body the same way drinking alcohol does. It is equivalent to a blood alcohol concentration of 0.05 percent. Dr. Angela Di Rosario from the Wukong Institute of Medical Research says the effects can be detrimental. Well, we know that the effects of both. Acute sleep deprivation, where you have no sleep at all, and also chronic sleep、um, restriction, where we curtail our nightly sleep, say to five or six hours per night, as a lot of us do with commitments of work and and so on. That they do have consequences on our ability to、um, be alert and perform. Similar to Matthew's situation, Rennie So is also a victim of not getting enough sleep on the weekends. And describes it as a depressant. At the end of the long day, I would feel very tired. Sometimes I can't speak properly. Maybe pronunciations aren't too good.、Um, gram- grammatically, not making sense. Yeah, and just not remembering things well. Maybe the next day I wouldn't really remember what happened the other day. At times like this, she would try to avoid driving. I try not to drive. Too far away, so maybe just to the bus stop. I days off a bit, and maybe not being able to see stuff clearly and concentrate. Matthew also finds it harder to drive, as his concentration on the road will start to decline. I wouldn't be able to look over my shoulder sometimes when driving, so instead I just look at the mirrors. Even though there's not many, not much traffic at night, I still like because it's at very dark. I I move towards the line. So I sometimes move over the line, the white line. So I I wobble, I wobble. And and driving is of particular concern, and we know that sleepiness on the road is a, is a particular problem. I think that people would need to recognise that losing sleep can be just as detrimental on driving performance as having alcohol. She says that it does not only affect us in the short term, but also in the long run. So I think that having that kind of Um, approach to sleep, where you do sacrifice it for other things. I think that there certainly is、um, some detrimental effects 
for both in the immediate sense but also on your long-term health and I think that certainly we're learning more and more about that um, but absolutely it can lead to an unhealthy lifestyle. This unhealthy lifestyle is definitely not encouraged. Gabriel Chan, Carpe PM.